Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you stopping by. Tonight, we're going on an adventure. We're gonna deal with some stuff, mainly these eyebrows. Now, as you age, unfortunately, your eyebrows, just like your hair, will turn white. If they don't, good for you, you've got great genetics. I had cancer treatment and my hair fell out and my eyebrows fell out. When they came back, they did come back white. What are you gonna do? What I used to do was when I would color my own hair at home, I would just take a little bit of the hair coloring and put it on my eyebrows. The petition I was using at the time told me to stop doing that because if you've ever over colored your hair before and your hair starts to get dry and brittle and it can break off and fall out, the exact same thing can happen to your eyebrows because the hair in your eyebrows is not the same as the hair on your head. So I was like, oh geez, what do I do? Because I could not walk around with brown hair and white eyebrows like Santa Claus. I mean, let me see if I can give you a close up if you can actually see any of these. I don't know if this camera, if you can or if you can't, but they're white, they stick straight out. They don't, now where I'm microbladed, it still does look a little bit brunette, but believe me, the majority of these are white and it's awful and I can't stand it. So my solution to the problem was, I started thinking about it, men can dye their beard and the hair on their beard is coarse like the hair gets on your eyebrows when it turns white. So I started using this just for men, mustache and beard color. I love it. I picked up a brand new box today. The last box I bought was, oh, it's been years ago. I'm sure the stuff was actually expired. So I had to come pick me up a new box of this. And the price has gone up a little bit, but it was under $10 at my CVS, which is usually a little bit higher. I'm sure if you went to Wally World, you could find this a lot cheaper. So the shade that I'm going to use is going to be M40, which is medium to dark brown. And I'm going to walk you all the way through what I do. It comes with this little tray. I almost dropped it. It comes with the color tube and the developer tube. And it also comes with this little brush to brush it on and some instructions and some other things that we really don't need. And I'm gonna show you what you do. You only need a tiny bit of this product to get the desired effect. I love this. I only have to do this maybe once a month, maybe every three weeks. I don't trim my eyebrows, but um, the color does wash off and it's gonna wash out quicker than it does in your hair because we wash our face at least twice a day. Hopefully you're doing it twice a day. And a lot of times the skincare products that we use on our face can also strip the color out. So you wanna be careful when you're using your, your acids, your glycolics or your tretinoin or your retinoids to not get it in the eyebrows because that can make the color come out a little bit sooner. No big deal, this stuff is so quick, it's so easy, it only develops for five minutes. It's done so fast. So the first thing you do is, you can see right here, there's like two little tubes here on the back of this plastic. You just pour out a little ribbon of this this is the developer. And then right next to it, you undo this tube and you mat make a matching little line like that. See that? Then you just take the back of this little brush, or you can just use the brush and you just mix the two together. Just mix it, mix it, mix it. And that is all you need. That was like a little bit larger than a pea size amount for each of these. You just smoosh it all together there. Takes about a second. I just wipe the excess off on here. Then I just roll this over. Now, I don't have any eyebrow pencil on. I have no makeup on my eyebrows and no skincare. So you just pick a, a good bit of this on your, your brush right here. And you're just going to paint it in. Now, I always keep some Q-tips nearby and I'll show you why in a minute. I'm sure you can figure out what I'm doing. Now, I don't have my contacts under my glasses on, so it's hard for me to see, but um, I am close enough and this thing is on magnify. So you see what I did? I just, I go this way, and then I go back this way to make sure I'm coating the back side of that hair because they have a tendency to lay on top of each other. Then I go straight up like that. Then I grab my Q-tip to make sure I'm not too much outside the line. Now, if this stuff would dye your skin, it comes off relatively easy, but you don't wanna leave it on there just in case you're going somewhere today. You don't want that hanging out on your skin. So just grab your Q-tip and wipe that little bit off. I'm gonna put a little bit more right here in the front part of my eyebrow simply because that's where the whites are the worst. Ugh. Like right there at the focal point <laughs> of my forehead right between my nose and forehead. Ugh. So here we go, we're gonna this and like this. Okay, now I'm gonna set the timer for five minutes, then I'm gonna come back and show you how we take it off. 
everybody. Hey, I'm back. Okay, five minutes is up. So what I'm gonna do now is I have a bunch of these cotton rounds sitting by when I do this. I just take one and I wet it and I wring it out real good because I don't want this water dripping down into my eyes. And I just fold it to neatly get the excess off. Gotta press a little bit hard there because you don't want to rub it around or it's gonna get all over your skin. Like I said, it'll come off, but you don't need that mess. Okay, so there's one. Look at that, look how bright and vibrant that came out. And like I said, it's only five minutes. Um, now, depending on your shade of hair, you might have to experiment with it a little bit. Um, I've been using this for so long, I know, you know, the approximate result I'm gonna get based on my hair color. And this comes in several different shades. This um, Just For Men beard dye, and I, I absolutely love it. <laughs> it's so much, it's just so easy to do at home and it's quick. Okay, so I wipe that off, and then what you're supposed to do is take shampoo. I guess just like when you're going to the beauty shop and getting your hair done, I take just a little bit of ordinary shampoo, a little bit in each finger, and you're supposed to just rub it on there. So I just rub it in, and I rub this one in too. I'll rub it in, I don't like to do them both at the same time. I'm not coordinated enough. <laughs> okay, let's set it off, and then I take another one of my cotton rounds, get them all wet. And it's the same thing, just wipe it off. But bring that cotton round out so that this does not drip down into your eyes. You do not want to get any type of hair colorant in your eyes. Very dangerous, very dangerous. See, you just wipe it up like that. Easy, easy, easy. Now I'm only red because I'm rubbing the heck out of my face. This stuff did not irritate my skin at all. I mean, it's only on there for five minutes and that's the maximum amount that you're supposed to leave it on is five minutes. As you can see, I'm, I'm very dark. My eyebrows are dark. My hair is dark. <laughs> Actually, they're white, which is the point of this video, <laughs> which is why we have to do this. But the colors that if I still had hair, like I did when I was younger, this is the shade that I would be. In fact, it's probably actually a little bit darker than this. I have very jet black hair when I had regular hair. But this is fine. This is perfectly fine. See, there you go. Do you love it? I do. Five minutes barely cost me a couple cents when you figure how long I'm gonna get out of this. I mean, look how big these tubes are. Um, they're each 0 0.5 ounces or 14 grams each. And like I said, you only need like a pea size amount. And then what I do after I've done this is I just run this under the sink, just a little bit of water and it comes right out. Just brush the brush real good. Keep it clean, guys, because otherwise you're gonna be stuck with lots of product and a really crappy um, brush that's not gonna do any justice. And you never want any leftover color on here because you don't know what that'll do when it's reactivated and deposits on your face. So don't even mess with it. Just keep it clean for all intents and purposes. And then I just put it back in my box and I keep it in my cupboard in about every three weeks to four weeks. I know that it's time or sooner if I have to notice. I mean, it's crazy white eyebrows coming up at me. And then of course, because they're a little bit on the coarser side, I just use a brow balm or gel or, you know, whatever I have on deck that day. But I think it gives me a pretty darn good result. In fact, it looks like I've even penciled them in when I actually haven't. So it's a good deal. Good deal all around. Thank you so much. If you managed to stay to the end of this video, I appreciated you joining me today. And I hope you learned something from my lesson today. And if you did, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and ring the bell for notifications so that you know every time I upload another tutorial video, just like this one. Thanks guys.